is Zhao Mei Wu, and I am an artist and designer living in Bloomington, Indiana. So I grew up in China in 1970s during a time that the resources were extremely scarce. As a child, the only toys we had, we had to make ourselves. So my mom uh, taught me how to made, uh, make a lot of origami. Most of uh, the origami we did, uh, mostly they were figurative, such as birds, the animals. Particularly this one model my mom showed me, this was very interesting. It's not two-dimensional, it's three-dimensional. Looks like a flower basket. As a child, it really opened my eyes to this wonderful world of patterns, um, interesting three-dimensional forms, and how the light and shadow plays on the models. Everybody knows that you can do a lot of things with paper. You can cut, you can create beautiful patterns, you can fold. A very simple piece of paper, once you fold, it adds a structural force to the paper. So the easiest way to work with paper is by hand. With my students, especially beginning interior design students, uh, they, um, they are afraid to try with their hands. It, it's sort of challenging for them. I often ask them to work from something that is small, uh, with paper folding, you want to start something that is small, you want to use paper to come up with a motif. And when you have a motif, you want to think about ways to connect the motif and can be uh, compounded to something that is amazing, that's much bigger. As a designer, I'm interested in applying folding to create functional products. To start, I often experiment with my hand only. I uh, work tactilely. I um, just play with a piece of paper. A lot of times people ask me, hey, how do you come up with something so complex? I say, no, it's very easy, it's so simple. Just a very simple piece of paper. You fold and you see what you get out of it. And then you later on, you figure out, okay, can you connect this a little things you fold with a little piece of paper together. So I have these ideas in my head and I, and I play with my hand and I came up with some very interesting motif. Once I have motif and I test it out using the real paper models, I unfold the motif and I see these beautiful patterns and I draw the pattern in computer programs. Later on, I will cut these patterns using a machine uh, to cut the patterns for me. Once I have the pattern, I have to crease it forward by hand to create the models. It doesn't have to be paper in the future. It can be a piece of plastic. And when you heat a piece of plastic, it can be very easy to manipulate and can be folded too. So uh, there, there are lots of applications um, in folding. Can you imagine that a house that can be folded? And if you need a house, you just push a button and then it's unfolded, becomes something that is three-dimensional. There are so many things I want to explore. I feel like I'm just touched the tip of an iceberg. I would love to be able to explore this type of folding in a much smaller scale, say, narrow scale. And I would love to be able to work with other scientists, uh, engineers, to explore um, application of folding in uh, all these different fields. Once paper is folded, uh, once you apply a structure or some sort of pattern to the paper and you fold, the paper is something what I almost I call magic. And that's why I think that people are really, really um, surprised when they see, you know, just a very simple piece of paper and a simple piece of uh, material that they use, they have touched every day, can be beautiful, magical objects. <laughs>